Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the impact of one of Baltimore Ravens rising stars, defensive tackle Travis Jones. From his breakout performances to his unique skill set, we'll explore how Jones has become a crucial part of the Ravens defensive lineup. Whether you're a diehard Ravens fan or just a fan of incredible football, you don't want to miss this. Let's break down Travis Jones' journey and his key plays and what's going to make him the next great Ravens nose tackle. First off, let's take a look at Travis's stats. Only had one and a half sacks, 20 solo tackles, four tackles for losses. But the main thing I want to focus on is his usage, his snap percentage. Now he didn't play, he wasn't the starter, didn't play, you know, a majority of the snaps. His biggest snap game was week 17 when we didn't play a lot of the starters. But for the most part, he's really playing right around 35 to 40% of the snaps. So if that bumps up to about 50 or 60%, these numbers should pretty much double. And then with his experience from last year and confidence, he should really flourish into being the next guy, especially once Michael Pierce starts to like step out of the way with Pierce being an older guy, Travis is ready to step in and be the starter and continue to just disrupt stuff up front because he's a block disrupt disruptor. He'll go in and, and part of the, the, the negative thing about Travis is he'll blow things up to the point where they'll just run right up under it. He has to blow it up and then play better with his eyes to be able to make the tackle. And we're going to take a look at some of the, examples of him blowing stuff up and still making the tackle rather than focus on the negative but the positive it is so much in favor of travis and let's get into the film portion of it and again once his usage goes up i think his stats will go up his play will go up and he'll start to get more recognition all right before we get started into this if you have not liked the video please do that likes help the video a lot more than you know so I appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that like button and let's let's dive right into this Travis Jones film. You see him mark right there. We just want to talk about how much he destroys the blocking scheme for the offensive line and how strong he is and how he transitioned into, you know, seeking and destroying. Right, they're trying to run outside zone away from him. Look at him get the leverage on 71. He's just basically going to take 71, throw him out of the way with that, with that, what's that, the right arm. Now he's sitting in the hole. 71, he can't. He, he let his momentum take him out the way. So he just took him and pushed him with that left arm. And now I'm sitting right in the gap where I need to be. Right in the gap where I need to be. The back really has nowhere to go. I can make the tackle. That's a good job of just using his leverage, using his strength, getting rid of the guard. Right that way, he needs to be gap integrity. Stay in gap sound. Stay in gap sound. Next play. Versus the Browns. Get a little shift right there. Look at the awareness. Just to take those two hands and not allow the center to get on him. Even though the center is kind of preoccupied with another defender who is that Roquan, he takes his hand placement. And that's a good job of playing with his hands. A lot of guys up there, don't they don't play with their hands. They just try to play with brute strength and, and just try to muscle you out the way. But playing with your hands will really help you be where you need to be. He takes his hands, and with that, 53 is not able to move his feet and get open. He can't square his shoulders. He can't turn his shoulders. He keeps his shoulders square. And then lets Travis just fit right in the hole. And now at this point, just gobble the defender up. I mean, gobble the ball carrier up. And you see flashes of him making plays like this throughout the tape. He just has to be more consistent. More consistency, more reps, all that will come this year. Versus the Chargers. Kind of a little shade. little one technique. Now 
And again, one on one moves. One on one. Look at that strength. Look at that strength right there. Just to take that guard and just really just displace it. And take the guard and just completely get rid of it. Guard's trying to fight back to get leverage. He's going to take his right arm and just literally just throw the guard out the way with it. Look at that. Yeah. Arm over to, to clean him on up. I get him, make me a sack. Give me a half a sack or whatever it is. Me and Matt BK. I don't know who Justin, I don't know who he's throwing the ball to, but um, the play's dead, Herbert. I really have a, no clue who Justin throwing that ball to. Here he is versus the Steelers. In a short, short yardage situation, I don't like the four yard line, maybe the five. Look at that, the leverage. Understanding leverage. They trying to double team him. He takes on, he makes the double team irrelevant by taking on one man head to head. Now he gets to the inside of 73. And just uses the leverage to get inside of him. Now he's right, he's face to face with the back. Face to face with the back. He just got to finish the play, which he does. The great job of, this is, what he does here is, he makes the double team null and void. He sees it coming. He just takes this outside edge, this outside edge of this guy. So it makes him irrelevant. Makes him completely irrelevant. And then with Roquan kind of playing right off of Travis, Roquan is pretty much untouched too. And you got Marcus. So you got three guys right in the middle, supposedly blocked by two, and they don't get any of them. They don't get any of them. Because he look, all three of them still unblocked. All three of them still unblocked. Roquan's unblocked. Marcus is unblocked. And Travis has, has made his way into the backfield. So he had no chance. Great job of just recognizing, reading, reacting. Recognizing, reading, reacting. And we'll end it with this one. This is versus the Rams. Playing the edge. Now, this is what I want to talk about. He get, he pass rushing versus a tackle. This is not just as a guard. This is not just versus guard. He's going to get this pass rush move versus a tackle. Now he starts off versus a guard, Dotson, who just got a big payday, I think. Now he slides over to Note Boom. Note Boom's a guard. I mean, Note Boom's a tackle. I'm sorry. Hmm. Look like a defensive end move to me. Take that left arm, kind of pull him by. Now I'm coming with my rip. That rip gonna go right through Note Boom, right through him. Look at the footwork too. The foot speed rather. Once he got outside. Come here, man, Stafford. You got a sack, man. And again, Travis, in my opinion, the more reps he get, the better he'll get at it. And this year, I look for his numbers to double, and I look for him to eventually be the next great Ravens nose tackle to take over for Michael Pierce and just disrupt offensive lines for the next five to 10 years. So I appreciate you guys for coming out. If you like the video, like the video. Hit that subscribe button. Training camp starts in about an hour from when I'm recording this. So um, if you're not sub, please do so. We're about 300 or so away from 10K. So help me out, man. Help me out. See y'all in the next one. Peace and love.